man before. And again, says, I'll do it myself. Now comes the support. They've got lots of room on the outside here. Need to commit some defenders. There's the commit. Oh, and the push through the pace. That is a fantastic effort by Gorilla to get their first points of the match. Fantastic. That could be a difference maker right there. You know, I thought they had him covered up. They had two defenders, but he's able to slip right between them and take it to the middle. <laughs> and then a hard chase there by Finn, but just not enough pace to get him and converts the kick 19-7 quickly. So after only one try in the first half, now we have three in the second. See right here, boom, the tiniest of gaps. Slips right through at pace. If you can make those moves without slowing down, it's so important in all of rugby, but especially in sevens, to be able to slip through and make it count. And they went quick on the conversion. They really <laughs> miss one tackle. But just dropping that ball forward. Gorilla have a bit of advantage here. They like to play transition ball, looking for the offload. Now it's released. And the dummy pass there pulls in a shooter. There's a bit of space on the outside. This is the stepper. He's so dangerous. Touching it down. Two quick scores for Gorilla. And Gorilla right back in this quickly. I don't know if Finns let their guard down or if Gorilla picked it up, but one way or another, two tries on the board for Gorilla. A little bit tougher conversion here, probably right there. Like you said, in that five meter channel. Let's see if they're able to slip this one in. But yeah, just a great job here. And like you said, a big time stepper, and he does it again. But that conversion kick is going to be no good. Bounce pass is a pass in sevens. What a step there. Two steps right through the middle. This will make the conversion easier, but the pressure always there. Gorilla must convert this. Listen to that hometown crowd. Their three supporters. tries for Finn, three tries for Gorilla. The all important conversion right here for a tie game. See, boom, step inside, step inside again. Two man miss, accelerate to the end. And that conversion does sail through. So it'll end in a draw. So a fantastic match for these teams. We'll see them again in a bit. We're going to step aside. I'm Wendy Young, Tim Sigmund. We'll have Kit McConaughey. They were impressive beating the Austin Huns. A lot of talent in that Dallas Fort Worth base side. Faith right now on the defensive end and a nice breakthrough right between the teeth of the defense. And they're in for the try. First of the match coming to you right there from Gorilla Rugby on the board first. I said a lot of talent from the Faith Rugby team, Gorilla. Ears burning, what a start for them. Marching right down the pitch, taking less than 30 seconds, dotting it down, conversion. The kind of pulling players from all over Texas as we take another look here. Now these two teams that know each other, they have very similar player pools. You mentioned up there in Dallas, Fort Worth, but Gorilla, brilliant stuff, just right through the heart of the faith defense. Made some real power on Nice clear out there by Gorillas, and now some space opening up on the right-hand side. Nice moves around the defense, goes Jackson over the midfield stripe, over the 22. One person still put, laying the chase, not gonna catch him all the way in for the try. And Jackson doing it by his lonesome, great work there, able to break the line, would not be caught. Jackson, the Dallas native, former Oklahoma State Cowboy. As the sun sets, the conversion up and good, and Gorilla on top, bouncing back to take the seven to five lead. You see Jackson with the fin across midfield, and then just able to stride things out. I think he was even able to take a little off of it. He knew he had it, maybe a little bit too soon, but ultimately the result the same as he's dotted it down. Penalty not releasing the call. There's the quick tap. The look to take charge. Nice little pass outside there from Western. Finds its target, but it's bobbled a bit. All the way to the far side. Around the corner they go. Close. We'll have a conference here from the referees. Yeah, I think the Huns wanted to knock on previously, but we'll see if he's able to dot it down. Try awarded. Came around the corner and dotted it down. Well done. Gorillas back on the board with another five. Yeah, just some bad luck there on the Huns. Again, a possible knock on, not called. And then we'll get another look. Great look here. And oh, tough to tell right there. 
had the hand on top of it, was it all the way, and referee wisely going to the assistant. We will obviously defer to them as Gorilla with the conversion. Take a second look there, the quick off of the quick tap. As Western's able to make the nice little skip pass all the way to the outside. That was the knock on I'd mentioned. Yeah, I think it went back. Close. That's what our official said. And now you can see here's difficult to tell. Our camera crew doing a phenomenal. Early drive, penalty called. There's the quick tap and the look to progress through. Nice cut between the defense. Offloads, beautifully done. Looks for support. Might not need it. Five meters out and in for the try. Wonderful Fenn and Gorillas right back into the match. What a well-worked try by Gorilla. Unselfish, finding the open man. Great support lines run. And I said they were going to have to find a try to respond. They do just that. This is an important conversion as well. It's a nice little lane break, or line break from Western and a nice offload to get it in for the try. And Royal Jones. Another go there right into the hands of Geo's Ragamuffins. Poor throw. The referee Blair McClure giving them a second chance, but they were unable to make anything of it. Here come Gorilla cutting inside. Oh, beautiful offload. May have numbers out wide. Able to fend off one. No, couldn't get away from the tackle, but is able to get across. And Gorilla Rugby powering their way through. I think that was Zach Jackson was able to take that final pass all the way to Paydirt and get the first five on the board. Jackson out of Southeastern Oklahoma State University making his presence felt here early in this one. Dallas Harlequin, Dallas native, able to find the opener. That pressure from Gorilla Rugby, again, paying dividends is almost all of the match thus far played in Geo's Ragamuffin's end. Yeah, they were pinned in there for a good two, three minutes. And I don't, I'm not mad at the kick. It was just maybe not the direction they needed it. Well, he's an institution in Ragamuffin's rugby. Yeah, Giovanni Bonilla was lost earlier this year. And they have reformed the team, no longer just Ragamuffin's. They are Geo's Ragamuffin's, all of his favorite emblems and stuff face on their jerseys they are playing as one here but scrambling with it in their own try zone not what they were looking uh, for as gorilla able to double the lead another mistake by geo's ragamuffins and they are made to pay immediately all of this match played inside the 22 of the ragamuffins and you could not make mistakes when you're that close to your own goal line now nah, we've seen extremely good practice Gorilla very happy to take advantage as Jackson doubles the lead. 10 to nothing unsuccessful on the conversion. But we need to see a response from Geo's Ragamuffins. Not only have they not had possession, as you get one more look there, now mm. just unlucky. Off the post, off the uh, pad. Thought he had it. Bounces cleanly right into the arms of Gorilla Rugby, and they dot it down. Can't come more easier than that, but... And down towards the end of the first half with Jackson in the bend, and it didn't matter. Geo's Ragamuffins could not take advantage. Here comes Gorilla again. Oh, a fend here. Pulled down from behind. Able to get the offload. Quickly through the hands comes Gorilla. They are looking to strike first in this second half. Mm. Jackson, we know what he can do, ball in hand. Here comes Jackson, has two, make it a third, a hat trick for number 15. He had a couple of guys there on the outside, did not need them. The celebration is on here for Gorilla. Three try lead here starting the second half. They call him Guap, and I think that is because of the quantity of tries. He scores already three in this for the Dallas native. He's making it look easy. Yeah, strong work from Gorilla. We see them take that restart and march right down. Something uh, that Geo's Ragamuffins were unable to do there in the first half. But use that offense to march down the field and get another converted try. 17 to nothing, Jackson. The initial power and then the speed turns on the Jets. Three tries, all the tries coming for Zach Jackson for Gorilla. That was a nice final pass there from number 10, Royal Jones. Also made the kick there. He was able to orchestrate that and find the final pass off there to Jackson. Yeah, give credit to Jones as well. He was now Gorilla finding a bit of space. Can they send it out wide? There's Jackson lurking, and here's Jackson on cue. Gets the pass over the top. Jackson, mm. one, two, three. Why not make it a fourth? 
as Jackson finally elects to dot it down. Had one to beat there on the outside, but Jackson too much speed, had plenty to work with, was able to dance right around that final defender and take it in for the try four on the day. We were talking Jackson Stokely in that first game being the one-man show, but they are making it happen there. And big old Zach Jackson is the main reason. Zach Jackson, a relocation specialist by trade. He did not specify if that is the in goal area. I think that is the only place he relocates anything from what we've seen. And the conversion from Jim away right now. Yeah, that kind of day. And they are going to find another, but the surprise, it's not number 15. It's somebody for Gorilla besides Zach Jackson. Well, it wasn't Jackson, so they got to make sure that the try <laughs> counts here. Final talk and try awarded. And there it is. Blair McClure with the confirmation is Gorilla now 29 to nothing pending the conversion. Great stuff. Able to anticipate that ball bouncing out of there. They're able to scoop it and take it all the way in. Just tough defense, turning it right into offense each and every time for Gorilla. Again, yesterday, not quite what they expected with a couple of losses. Bringing home some hardware would be a great way to end Freetail 7's weekend. Jones and Saratoga Jockey's side really came out of their shoes this morning, putting up big points, and now they've got some space on the outside, but this one is lost. Scooped up by Gorilla, and they will take it the distance. Over the line they go, going to try and center it as much as he can. But a big-time try just like that one, bounce with the ball. Sends it back over for a try for Gorilla. And who else but Zach Jackson had a hat trick in the semifinal earlier. And this one finds him far too easy for number 15 for Gorilla. As talented as Mr. Jackson is, you can't give him a gift like this. A poor ball sits up in Jackson. And no one back defensively. The Dallas native streaking through. Able to downshift a good 20 meters from the goal line as Gorilla finding the opening points. Got a hand, hand it to Jackson there. Gave that defense. Gets us going again, and the penalty is going to be awarded there. Scrum half a little bit too far offsides, and Jones knows for the try line, tries to get through. Slowed up, and now they'll recycle all the way across the pitch. Plenty of space out there, starting to close down. Eyes for the try line, around the corner, and they're in. Big time try for Gorilla. A big time try indeed, just racing to that flag in the corner, and really that's what it was. It was a foot race. Can you catch me or not? Defender possibly not taking the best line there. And a brilliant step. You see it right in here. Jackson freezing at that second defender because he's always a factor. If number 15's in the vicinity, you have to shade toward him. That's exactly what the jockeys did, and it opened things up for his teammate for the second try. Up. They've got plenty of support over the left-hand side. Let's see if they can make a couple passes to get it out there. Bobbled away, scooped up by Gorilla, and they will cash in. What a big-time turn of events. Another breakaway try and a big one there for Gorilla. Look what I found, says the big man, a gift, and he takes it to the house. Does number three for Gorilla right between the posts. That is a huge try momentum-wise, just when it looked like the jockeys had things going. A bobbled pass, couldn't secure it, and Gorilla happy to take it the other way for a try. Kyle Brown out of Fort Worth, Texas. American International College player brings it home. And just like that, a couple of little mistakes that have been cashed in here by Gorilla Rugby. And that one extends the lead to a 14 point. Hey, you're going to have a good time no matter what. But if you can bring hardware, that's oh, yeah. going to make it a lot sweeter. Opportunity for Gorilla. There's that burst of speed straight through the defense. Tired legs there for the jockeys. Final chase is on, but they are in for the try with a minute left. They extend this one now 24 to 5. Quinn Western, the Frostburg State man, able to find the exclamation point, and that is going to do it, securing the victory. Still time remaining. 